Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on a pan slash whip effect within Premiere Pro. Today we are going to be using this clip of my business partner asking Gary V for a hug so he can say, hey, I hugged Gary V. So I just cut two bits out of that clip and we are going to do a pan whip transition between these two moments. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to put the push transition onto these clips. Now immediately it's really slow, it's kind of ugly and bleh. So we're going to bring this down to six frames. A lot faster, we can work with this. So what I'm going to do then next is add an adjustment layer. Now this is where the real magic happens. We can do so much within this adjustment layer to really enhance the, the way that this looks. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and add a directional blur to this adjustment layer. And as you can see, immediately it's going the wrong way. So since this is a value from 0 to 360 due to 360 degrees being a complete circle, we're going to go 90. It doesn't matter if we're 90 or 270, the direction is exactly the same in this case. So I think that that's maybe a little bit too much. Let's try 200. That's a pretty good blur. I like it a lot. We're going to keyframe this in the middle of these frames. So we're at 6 frames, even number, half of that is 3. We can go here three frames across at the end go down to zero three frames over six frames over to the beginning add another zero there and as you can see it gives you that blur but there's this really weird stuff going on along the sides you can see this kind of black haze along the edges if you will so what i like to do in this instance is i like to go and add a posterizing effect onto this layer now it looks really weird right now and with good reason. So 255 is a full value of this posterize. And on the edges is where we are going to do just that. So on the edges we're going to go in keyframe 255. You can add a keyframe just like that. But in the middle we're just going to drop this down a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a really good elimination of those things. So I can show you exactly what that looks like on and off. You can see it really kind of takes that away. So now with even, now I'm just going to pause, rewind a little bit. There is going to be some weird artifacting going on here, but since it is only six frames, you really aren't going to notice it enough that it makes a difference. So if we go and we have this loop in and out, you can see exactly what that pan and that whip does to this clip. It really gives a great sense of just what's going on. So I hope that this really gave you guys a good way to add a cool pan slash whip to your Premiere projects. So many times on the internet you see all of these people trying to push their effect and they are great in their own right, but this is something that you can do right in to After Effects in your own way and you can change things up and add different effects to it, add some glow, add you know a, a layer, a white layer that goes over the top and change the opacity of it. There's so many different ways that you can go about adding to to what I've given you here and I really hope to see some examples of you guys doing so. So feel free to send some over. Let us know in the comments if there's something more that you would like us to cover. If this was helpful let us know and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.